morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne the digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today. Call 844-236-6010. That's our number, 844-236-6010. If you have any health questions, nutrition questions, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the Bright Side, every day on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We've got blog posts, news stories, videos, as well as all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866 735 2470. That's 866 735 2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for one, a one time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a great way to earn a supplemental income. It's a great way to earn a primary income. There's some folks making some significant money by helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you have enjoyed the benefits or your loved ones or your family have enjoyed the benefits of a good nutritional supplement program, help, help spread the word. Don't keep it to yourself. You can earn, a, earn some money while you're doing it and help change lives at the same time. All for a one-time $25 fee. If you don't want to be in business, you can for a one-time $25 fee, you can get your products at the wholesale price. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business as well. Call 866-735-2470 for more information. That's 866-735-2470. You can also sign up directly off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, made with 5% retinol. You're not going to see that anywhere, folks. Just on our website, truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, made with 25% fat-soluble vitamin C, as well as no filler, wax, emulsifier, water, silicon, oil, nothing your skin, fragrance, preservatives, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Treatment products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C-Balm and our Truth Transdermal C-Serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by none other than Harper's Bazaar Magazine. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We're continuing on with our discussion on the number one killer in this country and around the world. Many millions of people around the world die of heart disease. Many more millions suffer from heart disease, and millions of Americans are drugged every day with calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, digoxin, angina drugs, diuretics, ACE inhibitors. It's unbelievable the amount of medicalization that occurs for a disease that isn't being handled at all by the medical model. Of course, if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you know you don't need the medical model. In fact, the medical model can only muck things up when it comes to taking care of the heart or any other system in the body. We've got to get this through our heads, folks. 
doctor cannot help us with long-term chronic degenerative diseases. I know most people think, well, I'm just going to go to the doctor if my blood pressure is off. I'm just going to go to the doctor if I'm having chest pain. I'm just going to go to the doctor if I want to get better. Folks, you can't get better by going to a doctor. Yes, I understand. There are times you need to be, uh, we need to have some medical intervention, of course. Particularly if we've let our body go for decades, which many of us have, or if you have some kind of emergency. I understand the need for medicalization or, or for medical intervention, but medicalizing what e our lifestyle issues can never get us better, but that doesn't matter because there are non medical lifestyle strategies that we can use to improve cardiovascular health and to improve overall health, just to reverse any health challenge. And this is my position and has been my position since I started in pharmacy, since I observed that all chronic long-term degenerative diseases, and I've observed this with my own eyes, all chronic degenerative long-term diseases, that is diseases that do not get better, that is 80% of our health challenges, 80% of our health costs in this country, probably around the world, all of them are reversible. But we need to take care of it, our, our business ourselves. We need to do things ourselves. And as we said yesterday, no surprise, a lot of these strategies, most of these strategies involve food, which is a powerful, powerful leverage point for taking care of our health that's in our control. Our eating behavior is in our control. I'm not saying this as a foodie. I'm not a foodie. I'm saying this as a therapist. I'm saying this as somebody who wants to help people get healthy. If we are sick, or if we're healthy, we don't want to be sick. How we eat represents a major power point, a major leverage point, a major point for us to exploit to restore ourselves back to health or to maintain our health. It's not Obamacare. It's not the Affordable Health Care Act. And I know and I believe that there is a need for catastrophic health insurance. If you get hit by a car, if something dramatic happens, if you have an accident, but for long-term chronic health, it's not a question of insurance. It's not a question of getting a checkup. It's not a question of anything that the doctor can do for us. If we're sick or if we're healthy and we don't want to be sick, we have many, many leverage points, including and especially how we eat. There's nothing in medicine that can do anything to improve our heart health. And that includes statin drugs. And that includes beta blockers. And that includes diuretics and ACE inhibitors and all the other pharmaceutical nonsense and predatory propaganda that you see on TV every hour of every day or that you hear about from your doctor. On the other hand, how we eat represents a powerful control point that can change our health status pretty darn quickly, sometimes within days, depending on how uh, bad off we are. We've talked about calorie restriction, powerful strategy. Intermittent fasting, powerful strategy. Eating less sugar, eating less processed food, powerful, powerful, powerful strategies. And I know it's difficult uh, to avoid processed foods. I know it's difficult to avoid sugar. It's everywhere. This is why eating less is so powerful. This is why uh, calorie restriction can be such an important strategy because it is hard to avoid processed foods. It is hard to avoid sugary foods. That's why simply eating less can be so powerful. Eating good fat, saturated fat, butter, coconut oil, the fats that are found in fish and organ meats. We talked about the cholesterol complex, which contains vitamin E and vitamin A and vitamin D and lecithin. All of these are found in organ meats, particularly liver. If you're going to go liver, though, you want to go organic. Always go organic if you're going to do liver because the liver processes all the poisons that the animal is exposed to. Animals are exposed to toxicity like we are, and it's the liver that is processing those toxins. So if you're going to do liver, make absolutely positively sure you're going, uh, you're very choosy and picky about the kind of liver you use, organic liver. The, the Mediterranean diet can work too. There's some interesting chemistry, as we've said, that takes place between essential fatty acid rich oils, particularly olive oil, or, or I should say monounsaturated oils like olive oil, and the nitrogen that's in veggies. And this reaction between the oil and the nitrogen creates some very cardiovascular friendly compounds. Avoid burnt fats. Always, always, always stay away from fried fats. That's a huge problem, fried fats. There's something interesting about fats, and there's something interesting about fried fats. We crave that stuff. Fats are super duper high energy. Fried fats are super duper high energy, especially when they're combined with sugar. And they're really pretty darn hard to, hard to resist if we're not getting enough fat. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. 
Worldwide, I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Also, brightsideben.com. Have search engines up on both websites, Brightside Ben. BrightsideBen.com and BenFuchsArchives.com. And you can also purchase longevity products off BrightsideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, or CriticalHealthNews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. Also, want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at TruthTreatments.com, a retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, all made with lots of vitamins. Vitamin C, as well as 5% retinol. Don't be messing around with that retinol, though, because that is kick butt stuff. Retinol is a powerful, powerful ingredient. And that's why you, you don't see retinol in 5% concentrations anywhere, but I didn't want to play around, you know? I wanted you guys to have the most powerful dose of retinol that you could get. And that's what our retinol 5% gel is. You want to use it once every 10 days or so. Some people can use it every seven days. Some people are using it every three or four days. But start off once every 10 days or so. Let your skin get used to it a little bit. If your skin is really weak and many people have weak skin, you may want to even take two weeks off before your first, or two weeks between your first couple of doses. In any case, you will know that you're using a product. And you should know that you're using a product when you put something on your skin. Truth Treatments are all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Please check them out. Retinol 5% gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Okay, so we're talking about the thyroid, hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is not itself a disease. It's the consequence of bad living, of toxicity. It can also be, uh, it can also be associated with estrogen levels. Most hypothyroid patients are women, and it's especially problematic for older women. By older, I mean over the age of 65. Somewhere, somewhere around 10% of women over the age of 65 are hypothyroid, diagnosed hypothyroid. Keep in mind, you can be hypothyroid without being a diagnosed hypothyroid. You have to go by your symptoms. Symptoms like dry skin, symptoms like cold extremities, symptoms like problems with your hair and with your nails, symptoms like fatigue, symptoms like elevated blood fats, symptoms perhaps like gallbladder issues because of elevated blood fats and elevated cholesterol. These are all, these all can be associated with hypothyroidism, frequent colds, uh, poor sex drive, and libido. These are, can all be linked to uh, hypothyroidism, which itself can be linked to adrenal fatigue. And all of this can be associated with problems with estrogen, which is why so many women are, are, are uh, uh, victims of hypothyroidism. I hate to say victims because it's, like I say, it's stuff that we're doing in our lives. Here's the deal with estrogen. Whenever you have an estrogen problem, and we said this before, I think I just said it a couple days ago, whenever you have an estrogen problem, you don't have an estrogen problem. You have an estrogen breakdown problem, an estrogen elimination problem, and that means digestion and the liver. So if you're dealing with hypothyroidism and it's secondary to menopause, for let's say, or if you have PCOS, which can also be linked to hypothyroidism, if you have PCOS or you have cysts or ovary issues or any kind of reproductive health issues and you're hypothyroid, work on your digestion, your intestine and your liver specifically. That means probiotics, the nightly essence. That means fermented foods, eliminating problem foods, using your... Uh, uh, Beyond tangy tangerine for the liver, taking extra vitamin E for the liver, alpha lipoic acid for the liver, and acetyl cysteine for the liver, ultimate selenium for the liver, ultimate EFAs for the liver, staying off sugar for the liver. This is how you want to focus on things. And you hear, we're just repeating the same thing. So these are all the same basic strategies we all have to do. Progesterone, by the way, helps balance out excess estrogen. Progesterone can be awesome for a woman who's dealing with uh, hypothyroidism. Pregnenolone, if you don't want to go get progesterone, use pregnenolone, P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E. -E -E. You may want to consider D-H-E-A. So a poorly functioning thyroid is not itself pathological. Hypothyroidism is a response 
And that means you cannot just work on your hypothyroidism by working on the thyroid directly or medically. There's absolutely nothing you can do or a doctor can do to treat a hypothyroid state. The best they can do, and this is what they do, they give you the hormone, but that doesn't affect the thyroid. In fact, it may negatively affect the thyroid because it'll act, the, thyroid, the body will say, well, we got, looks like we got plenty of thyroid hormone in the blood, and it will downregulate production even more, which is why people keep having to adjust their doses on Synthroid, right? which is why it's notoriously ineffective. When you go to the doctor and get your Cytomel, your Synthroid, your Levothyroxine, your Armour Thyroid, you're doing nothing for the thyroid. All you're doing is replacing a hormone, supposedly replacing, because it's impossible to replace a hormone. This is the great flaw in hormone replacement therapy. It's impossible to replace a hormone because they're constantly fluctuating in response to the environment. Hormones are our link to the environment. It's the, bio, it's the bridge between between the biochemistry and the environment. That is so important, you guys. Hormones are the way the outside world gets turned into the inside world. I used to do a talk on hormones, and I would always ask people, say, what are, what are hormones? That'd be the first question I'd ask. So, well, so what's a hormone? And people would raise their hand. They'd say, it's, it, it's a chemical. And, oh, it's a molecule. Oh, it's something that we have too little of when we get older. They had all kinds of things to describe what hormones are, and none of it was accurate. And so I would say, okay, here's what a hormone is. It's magic. A hormone is where the invisible world of thoughts and feelings gets turned into the visible world of chemistry, of biology. It's where thoughts and feelings, as well as the outside environment, get turned into chemistry. They're the bridge between the two. And so they're fluctuating constantly based on our thoughts and based on our feelings and based on our environment. And by the way, environment includes food. The food we eat. In fact, the food we eat probably changes our hormones more than anything else we do. Thinking and feeling and also just our, what we see and feel in our environment, also that has a lot to do with it too. But probably food is the most important bridge between, uh, or activator I should say, of hormones or deactivator of hormones, effector of hormones. In any case, this is the fla fallacy of hormone therapy, and it's why thyroid hormone therapy doesn't really work. They're not treating the thyroid. They're not addressing the cause of the hypothyroidism. They're just attempting to replace the hormone, which never works, rarely works. So the thyroid, the reason you're not going to get any help for your thyroid is because the thyroid's responding to something in the body. And most of the time, it's going to be responsive, at least to some degree, by the adrenal glands, the adrenals. The symptoms of hypothyroidism are like almost exactly the same as the symptoms of adrenal fatigue. So-called adrenal fatigue may be just hypothyroidism. If you got your immune system involved, then you got food, then you got to deal with food and digestion, which you always should anyway, because guess what? Thyroid hormone is activated by the digestive system. So you've got two kinds of thyroid hormone. You've got inactive thyroid hormone, and you've got active thyroid hormone. This is another serious issue when it comes to how we treat uh, hypothyroidism. Synthroid, levothyroxine, is the weak stuff. It's the inactive form of thyroid hormone, so-called T4. That's a whole other issue. We'll talk about that as we continue our discussion on hypothyroidism and the adrenal glands and electrolytes and the heart and um, all the other things we've been talking about here for the last couple of months. All right, anyway, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a commercial break and come back. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you tried to call in, in the past and gotten a busy signal, now's the time to call in, and we'll get your calls here in just a moment if you're on hold. From the Society for Endocrinology, this is research from the uh, Institute of Inflammation and Aging in Birmingham. Vitamin D may be a simple treatment to enhance burn healing. Patients with sever, uh, severe burns who have higher levels of vitamin D recover more successfully than those with lower levels, according to a study presented at the Society for Endocrinology Annual Conference in Harrogate. I think that's in England. 
The study is the first to investigate the role of vitamin D in recovery from burn injury and suggests that vitamin D supplementation may be a simple and cost-effective treatment to enhance burn healing. Why? This is because the vitamin D is a building substance. It's an adaptive substance. It's a growth substance. It is one of the most important, uh, I don't even want to say vitamins because it's much more than a vitamin. It's a, it's a hormone. I was saying earlier, I was saying in the last segment how hormones are uh, chemicals that are produced in response to the environment. Vitamin D is a hormone. It's produced by the body in response to the environment. It's not actually produced in response to the environment as much as it's activated in response to the environment. Like thyroid hormone has to be activated, vitamin D has to be activated. Vitamin D is activated like thyroid hormone, at least partially, in the intestine. So it requires a healthy digestive system in order to activate vitamin D into its active form. It's so powerful that the vitamin, like thyroid hormone, vitamin D is so powerful that the body has to activate it when, it's, when it needs it. If it, was, if it didn't have an activation mechanism, if it was all is active, we'd be in big trouble because it's such a powerful building substance. So the body has these fail-safe mechanisms for preventing it from being overactive. Thyroid hormone is the same way. It's so powerful that it has to be activated. It's activated in the gut when we're healthy, that is. Now, vitamin D also has some topical benefits. We know vitamin D works to help improve psoriasis. It's actually a prescription drug for treating psoriasis. Why would that be? Why would vitamin D treat psoriasis? Because vitamin D makes things healthy again. It makes cells healthy again. It calms down the immune system, which is what uh, psoriasis is a hyper a sign of a hyperactive immune system. The best vitamin D is not supplements, though. The vet, best vitamin D is from the sun, as we've said so many times on this program. The supplemental vitamin D is the probably the poorest way to get vitamin D. Food is the after the sun, food is the best way, and then supplemental vitamin D. But the sun is by far the best way to get your vitamin D, according to Professor uh, Professor Janet Lord at the Institute of Inflammation and Aging in Birmingham. Major burn injury severely reduces vitamin D levels. It's because the body is using vitamin D to cope with the trauma. It's a coping chemical. Oh, guess what? Vitamin D is cholesterol. Yes, it is a form of cholesterol, a type of cholesterol. Cholesterol itself is a coping substance. And we want to have a doctor tell we want to follow a doctor's advice to take a drug to suppress this coping the the quintessential coping molecule in the body. Life is about coping, right? Look at all the ways we have to cope. And your doctor wants to suppress your coping chemical? That's the stupidity of clinical chemistry, right there in a nutshell. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'll read one more story, and then we'll get to your phone calls. I think this is really interesting and important. Almost half of food allergies in adults appear in adulthood. This is from the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Almost half of adult allergies in adults appear in adulthood. Most of the time we think about kids when it comes to food allergies. But you can have, you can be eating, your, uh, drinking your dairy or eating your, your gluten or whatever it is you're eating, mer be, go merrily along, and then all of a sudden you're 30. 30 or 40 years old, and all of a sudden you have a problem with it. You say, well, I used to be eat, I used to eat, be able to eat peanuts all the time. Now I break out. Now I feel tired. Now I get rashes. Same with eggs. Anything that's allergenic can, uh, can cause a food allergy later in life. So just because you were fine for your first 30 years of your life, or 35 or 40 years, in adulthood, you can all of a sudden become allergic to specific foods. You've got to go by your symptoms. You don't need an allergy test either. That's another scamola allergy test. You actually take the blood out of, take your blood out of your body, take your blood out of your body and go over and put it in a dish, a petri dish, and then put some food in the petri dish and see what happens to the blood. And we remain blissfully innocent in our bodies. And we need a doctor or some kind of healthcare professional to tell us what's in how how our body is based on what's in the dish. That's how silly this whole this whole medical model is. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to the bright side. Let's go to the phones. Talk to uh, Tony in California. Good morning, Tony. Welcome to the bright side. 
Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've gotten so young at 82 that I'm just starting to, I'm uh, applying for a job. Are you Tony because in Santa, Santa Cruz? Yeah. Are you my friend yes, Tony? Tony. Yes, Tony. Where you been, and, and buddy? I'm, you know, well, okay, I want to get to, I want to do this quickly. Yeah. I, um, I'm applying for a job, and uh, you're in, frequently has not been a problem when you're retired because you just take it as it comes. And I think that I'd like to cut down on my frequency of urination. Is there anything I can do other than... Uh, well, urination's, my, a, urination's a good thing. You want to be very happy you're, that you're urinating. You know what I'm saying, Tony? I, I do like I, yes, I do. That's but not I, a bad thing. You can, can I take some of those pills that they, people take to restrict the urine flow? During no, the day? you don't want to mess around with your urine flow, Tony. Not a good okay. idea. Very bad idea. Okay. You know, every time we go to the bathroom, Tony, and everybody listening, every time we urinate or have a bowel movement, we should be praising God. Okay. And taking trace minerals. They're taking trace minerals. <laughs> no, listen to my point. The excretory sure. process is very underappreciated. The elimination process is very okay. underappreciated. Unless, God forbid, you can't do it. Okay. So every right. time we have a bowel movement, every time you urinate, that is a miracle that we should be very, very grateful for. A, a miracle of biology that occurs. Then I have no problem. Know, no problem. Good for you. <laughs> Keep it going. Drink more water. Make sure you do your Beyond Tang Tangerine. That's the problem when you go to the when you're drinking lots of water and you go to the bathroom a lot, you lose your electrolytes, which we've been one talking more, about. You lose your... I will. I know that, yes. Yes. So you, and also you lose your B vitamins and also you lose your, your vitamin C. So it's very important. The more water you drink, the more you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you're drinking bottled water, ideally just put a little Beyond Tangy Tangerine in your bottled water. You won't have to worry about it. But if you're just drinking bottled water, make sure you're using some BTT once or twice or three times a day at least. So you're replacing those electrolytes lights and the B vitamins and the vitamin C, especially, especially first thing in the morning, because we, you know, if you've gone to the bathroom a couple times in the middle of the night, that's eight hours where you have not replaced the electrolytes. And there's a very right. good chance you're going to wake up in the morning, electrolyte and B vitamin and vitamin C deficient. And in my humble opinion, that may be one reason why we wake up groggy in the morning is because we're deficient in these energizing nutrients. And by, I should tell everybody, I about you, up, Tony, let me brag on you a little bit. Let me brag on you yeah. just a minute here, Tony. Tony is an amazing human being. I've known him for probably 15 years or so, 10 or 15 years. And uh, Tony uh, is 82 years old and looks unbelievable. Big guy, six foot two or three, probably Tony, right? Maybe maybe 200 pounds or so. Six one, six one, one one. Six one, okay. Big guy, strong, vital guy. Eighty-two years old. That's what's possible. That's what. That's what the human body is capable of. Tony, thanks for your call, buddy. Have a great day, man. I hope I helped you out. Back on the bright side, got lines open, 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the bright side. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You'll also find the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team as well if you're, if you're an entrepreneur entrepreneurially minded you want to start a business but you don't want to deal with the with the hardware with the storefront with all the infrastructure that goes into building a business and all a, a lot of infrastructure goes into building a business I've built several in my day and uh, it's a lot of work longevity makes it real easy for you it's it's home business in a box for one time $25 fee you can start the ball rolling Get your products at the wholesale price. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. If you really want to go all out, you buy your have to buy some uh, you have some basic uh, inventory. I think it's less than five hundred dollars worth of inventory. If you really want to go all out and start making some significant money, and some folks are making significant money, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. It's not really selling because once people try it, they buy it, is basically how it works. It couldn't be any easier, but the best part of it is you're really helping people. You're making a difference. I'm not just telling you that. I've been just seeing this 
for 19 years. People losing weight and people getting off their meds and people feeling better and people having more energy, people's diseases re uh, uh, reversing, people getting off their drugs. I mean, there's so many different ways you benefit from a good, solid, well-rounded nutritional supplement program. And that's the key, so uh, well-rounded. You need a system. You can't just throw supplements at the wall and see what sticks. You're not going to get the you're not going to get the good benefits out of nutritional supplementation unless you have a strategy, unless you have a system in place. And that's that's really what longevity is all about. It gets you gives you a system for people who aren't experts in nutrition. It's very easy. To, the stuff gets drop ship, shipped to your door every month automatically. No must, no fuss. You know you got a great company. You got people like myself and Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glidden and Dr. Conway and lots of other people behind the product themselves who can guide you through everything. It's just an amazing opportunity if you want to start a business and it's amazing supplements if you want to just get on a supplement program. Anyway, you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com or call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Our number 844-236-6010. Let's go to my friend Carl the Truth Raider in Oregon. Good morning, Carl the Truth Raider. Good morning, Benjamin, the health, health uh, professional and coach, and I guess you would call it health and nutrition life coach. <laughs> you're talking about me? Yeah, you. You're the man. I like that. I like that. I like that. Life, but it, it is, it's more than just nutrition, Carl the Truth Raider. If we're interested in health. Really? Health is everything. I call it the four dimensions of health. Spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. And I have, you know what, Carl? I always, I have, if somebody is going on a nutritional supplement program and they get better and then all of a sudden they plateau, you know, they just stay the same, mm -hmm. they stay the same, they don't improve, you can rest right. assured they haven't addressed the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual aspects that are associated with health or the lack thereof. That's how you can tell you've got more work to do on those levels is if you're doing yeah. all the supplements and the food diary and eliminating problem foods and you still have a problem, there's still some emotional, mental, or spiritual baggage that needs to, or, or I don't say baggage, but uh, components that need to be addressed. And we don't talk about that anywhere near enough. It's almost like it's taboo to really talk about that on the health and nutrition program, but I'm sorry. You can't be healthy unless you're multidimensionally healthy. Spiritually, praise God, on some level, I'm not proselytizing. It's non-denominational. Be attached spiritually on some level. When you're not attached spiritually, you go into fight or flight, mo fight or flight mode fear mode. The world is not a safe place. This cortisol kicks in. Your immune system is suppressed. Inflammation increases, etc. Mental and emotional do the same things. We talked about the link between hormones and our mental and emotional nature. You th have a crappy thought or crappy feelings. You get crappy hormones. You get a crappy body. So if you're not getting better and you've done everything, you think you've done everything, you got to address these other dimensions of health. Sorry to ramble on there, Carl, the truth raider. How can I help you, my friend? Well, that's awesome. Right? That's, that's what, it, what it is right there. The left-right paradigm, either people are more going toward discovering health and nutritional options, or they're going the other way into gluttony, into eating crappy food, as you call yes. it, have a crappy diet. So yeah. that's what's going on with the group that I gone to. So I, I haven't gone to the group much anymore, because all they talk about in the emails is that, you know, they have some, you know, I have pizza and beer and just, you know, sit around, a lot of them are gaining Which weight. group are you talking about here? Well, it's it supposed to be a truth group, and health and nutrition is a, is a humongous part of truth, but it's the group that I, that I attended here in town. Okay, so they talked about, like, the Yongevity products? It's a, group that you, it's a group that you attended. Oh, okay. So, so I think it was, wasn't it Yongevity? Was there part yes. something? Okay. Well, you're, you're representing health and nutrition on a truth level, but you were covertly trying to introduce... <laughs> Longevity into their lives to improve their their consciousness, their health and well-being. Covertly, did you say? And talking about the truth. Well, you couldn't do it openly. It was the setting was the the rules were was to talk about something in relation to the conspiracy to destroy our health out there, and you were there to correct and and make it simplistic to what health and nutrition was, and to bring that message to that group. Do you, you ever hear this? Purpose was. Do you ever hear this thing called the Georgia Guide? Stones. Yes, absolutely. So, right. So the part of the Georgia, the, they, they just these Georgia. mysterious tablets that yeah. just showed up, right? So uh, in Georgia somewhere, for, the, for you guys who don't know what I'm referring to, and I don't remember where it was in Georgia, but some these two huge stone tablets just appeared in some public park somewhere in Georgia, and uh, and on the 
these two tablets are like the agenda for 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 humanity from some kind of control uh, some kind of control uh, operation to 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 modify humanity and and human demographics and human numbers and part of the gold georgia guidestone is that there's too many people on the world and we got to get rid of people and there's going to be wars and there's going to be ways to get rid of people well population control is already occurring it seems like and it occurs with fluoride it occurs with chlorine in the water it occurs with antibiotics and drugs how do we know that's not some kind of population control deal it could very well be i mean it would be really clever to do it that way to use fluoride for population control because everybody drinks it or to use statin drugs for population control because everybody takes them but you know what we can we can may not be able to avoid these things entirely because we got to breathe the air still and the air is pretty darn toxic but just knowing about things we can take control over our lives and we don't have to be one of the numbers that is going to be population controlled we can use nutritional supplements we can think good thoughts we can eliminate rage and anger and jealousy and fear we can uh, become spiritually connected we can drive by mcdonald's instead of driving through mcdonald's we don't have to eat dunkin donuts we don't have to participate in the empire of food we can disengage from the machine the machine doesn't care about us but we can disengage from the machine and that's really what it's going to take we can't participate in the culture and participate the way everybody participates in the culture if we're not going to just if we expect to not be affected by the machinations and if it's a conspiracy the conspiracy that's associated with things like population control things like um, reducing the number of people on the earth so that uh, I guess so that less people can have more because you know what at the end of the day there's plenty for everybody you know Carl the truth raider there's no shortage in energy planet earth is an energy ball every time it's it's got an iron core in the right in the center of it it's a magnet there's so much electromagnetic energy per tiny millimeter of space that we could we could run the planet we could probably run the universe the solar system on the amount of energy that's circulating around the earth there's plenty of energy there's plenty for everybody there's no shortages and it, it's not like we got too many people if we understood how to allocate our resources appropriately or in not. my humble opinion I, I, don't, I don't like getting too political there Carl, yeah. the truth Raider, but oh, that's no my worries. Take. word up i mean that's truth but i have something to complain a little bit about but yes about our emergency service workers who, where's I was, this? I was at the grocery store, and they're all really nice, young and fit young men. But I was checking what they were, what their shopping list was. You know what they're going to have at the station house. I said, "What you guys going to have for lunch?" Oh, we were going to have chili dogs. <laughs> chili dogs at the firehouse. Chili wasn't dogs, it? a bunch of hormel uh, chili, and uh, a couple, three packages of. of uh, the pork hot dogs. Why don't you do your good deed and bring them some uh, beyond? Do a do yeah. a good deed and bring them some beyond tangy tangerine. Or get me their address and I'll send them. Going, going to a call before that, you know, having all that in your stomach, then you got to go to a That's life, right. Yeah. Life yeah, yeah, and death yeah. situation. That's, that's my that's point. my little bit of a, a little bit of a complaint there about that. Well, thank you, Carl. That's the last word because we're just out of time. Appreciate it. Have a good day, man. Good to talk to you, Carl, the Truth Trader. All right. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side, friends. Please check out my websites: brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, critical healthnews.com. You can also purchase young jabby products off our website and please check out our website for truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day on farms. This will talk to you all later. Bye for now. Are you